Nicholas James Dolan Green. What a distressing heap of happenstance and bad taste life is. Where would art be if its only models were the drowning, contingent, and frankly hideous lineaments of life? Clearly, life needs to be saved from itself by the hard work of art. But, Nick wonders, if life imitates art, why isn't life more like Gosford Park? <laughs> a showcase of useful examples of the decadent hijinks Americans ought to be getting up to these days as the sun sets on our empire. If not, if not Gosford Park, what about Way of the Dog? Yes. It's all about the control behind the scenes, a place certain people prefer to center stage, even if certain people do play a pretty convincing despot. The dialogue of Way is wickedly funny. Why can't we talk like that? <laughs> if, however, we're determined to be sullen mutes, why not sulk in black and white, <coughs> Olive Bergman's persona? <laughs> because of sloth, the enemy of an artful life. Say you're invited to a Mexican party. You could ransack your basement for ponchos, sombreros, and cowboy boots. Make an entrance and class up the joint. Alternatively, you could slink in, wearing jeans and a t-shirt, advertising that you have bartered truth and beauty for an extra hour of education. <laughs> you could also hit San Diego without a portfolio and end up dining at Burger Depot. Or you could research the restaurant scene, introduce Maggie to Afghani cuisine, and inspire her to remark that you are very serious about pleasure. <laughs> you could idle away the hours in geometry. You could flash a Kool Aid picture grin. Or you could take the trouble to reproduce the smirk of Franz Hall's The Laughing Cavalier. <laughs> if you were to unearth a cache of your grandfather's ties, you could pull out a few keepers and give the rest of the goodwill. Or you could regard them as your patrimony, match each tie to the personality of a friend, and give them away in the spirit of daisies reveling in the plenitude of Gatsby's shirts. You could treat friendship as a convenience. Or with Ben, you could find meaning in the present. With Ned, you could find meaning in the future. With Nate, you could find meaning in the outside world. With Fiona, you could find a fellow in the artful life movement and an ally in the struggle against the sloth that keeps life artless and unlovely. You could then take your cause to Brown University next fall and build a beautiful life in Providence, a place with a long history of vanquishing sloth. Okay.